What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button because that is the most important thing you can do for me on this channel. What it does is that it helps to make sure that those who are subscribed to the channel will indeed get their notifications, and it also helps to push this video through the YouTube algorithm as well. Secondly, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been ghost watching this channel for quite some time now, please do me a favor and yourself a favor by hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I release a new video. And lastly, please share this video out on your social media platforms to your family and friends to inform them on this news and information. And yes, that does also give me a slight boost in the YouTube algorithm also. And with the introduction out of the way, now let's get into today's news. And today we are headed back to the People's Republic of Chicago, uh, which is currently under the rule of Emperor Brandon Johnson. Now, not too long ago, and to be quite frank, I, I'm not sure of the exact time and date that this situation occurred, right? But what we're getting ready to see right now is a video clip of illegal Venezuelan migrants running Chicago PD off the block. They forced Chicago PD to retreat uh, for reasons unknown at the moment. I'm not sure why Chicago PD showed up and forced the way that they did. But it appears that the illegal immigrant Venezuelan migrants uh, outnumbered them and overwhelmed them um, and forced them to run off. They forced them to run off. Now, as you can see right here, it says here in Spanish, and I'm going to butcher this, Centro de Chicago Refugio La Jackson. Uh, what that translates to is downtown Chicago shelter on Jackson. Now, there isn't a shelter on Jackson, right? But there is one on, I believe it is 320 South Plymouth Court, and I'll pull that up right now. And I want to go through this article very quickly, but I only want to read the first paragraph here. But look at this here, and it's from Chicago Tribune. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Um, my apologies, I should have just did this earlier. Now I'm making it look fugazi. But it reads... As migrants clash near volume shelters, neighbors and businesses grow alarmed. We don't feel safe. And when you scroll down, the first paragraph reads as such. Over the weekend, a fight broke out near the 1,163 resident migrant shelter at the former Standard Club at, at on 320 South Plymouth Court. Just the latest brawl to be caught on camera outside of the high population shelters downtown, right? So now when you come over to Google Maps here and you come to, and you type in 320 South Plymouth Court, uh, this is where the shelter is. And you see here the cross street is Jackson. When you click on the, I believe it is the 3D viewer they finder here and you circle around, that's Jackson straight ahead. And behind me here, you see this, what appears to be a train station docking station right here, right? Uh, that's green and with, you know, steel bars on it. The reason that that's relevant um, is because what you'll see here is that at the end of the video that I'm going to show you, I'll just get a little closer so you can see this here, right? So there's this right here. Uh, what you're going to see here is that at the end of the video that I'm getting ready to show you right here, you see that that's where the video ends, right? You see here that exact place uh, where it appears to be a train docking station of some sort. Uh, that's where it ends. You see the, the green structure and the steel structure, and then you see a migrant saying, stop filming, stop filming, stop filming. Uh, and I know some of this might seem pointless to some of you all, but I, I really just wanted to make sure to establish all this uh, so nobody can come around and say that, oh, this is fake news, this is you know misinformation, yada, yada, yada. No, this is indeed a uh, migrant shelter situation uh, that was caught on camera. OK, so now that we have the facts straightened out on what's going on here, at least as it pertains to the actual location, let's get into the video clip. Um, so, you know, we can see how things transpire. It's about two minutes long. Uh, I'll zoom in so that you can see it better and then we'll get back in the discussion.
look at how outnumbered the police are. Mind you, when you go back to the article that I was reading earlier, what did they say? That there are about close to 1,200 migrants that stay at that one shelter? Now, look at all the police that showed up, but look at the degree to which they're outnumbered, to which the police are forced to retreat. You have to ask yourself, what in the world happened at that shelter that so many police came out from everywhere? I think you told him to go home. He said the guys in English, the guy in English is going, what happened? What happened? The migrants going, man, get out of here. Get out of here. <clears throat> what happened? What happened is this is our city now. This is our territory now. This is our town now. Don't ask me questions about what happened. You saw we just ran Chicago PD off the block. You coming over here asking me what's happening and filming will mess around and get you hurt. That's what's happening here. It is so amazing to me, and I've said this over and over again, time and time again. It amazes me how you see from the NYPD to the Chicago PD, whenever it comes to handling Biden's migrants, they handle them with kid gloves. There has to be word that has been given to NYPD in New York and clearly Chicago PD from the top, you know, where they've been told when it comes to Biden's migrants, when it comes to the illegal immigrant Venezuelans, handle them with kid gloves, do not put a finger on them, do not harm them. I haven't even seen a situation yet with as much as I've covered this stuff since it's been happening. I haven't even seen a situation yet where one of Biden's migrants have been tased not even not even a taser, not a rubber bullet, not one of those, you know, kind of uh, uh, projectiles that shoot out bean bags. Nothing. I haven't seen anything of that nature yet. It's always with the softest Charmin soft kid gloves that the PDs, whether it's Chicago or New York, handle Biden's migrants with. And I just find it completely amazing. It is amazing and unbelievable. And it's something that Eric Adams doesn't answer to uh, for as much as Eric Adams does. You, as For as much as Eric Adams does go around, you know, doing speaking engagements and going on, you know, radio shows and going on news channels. You know, I've always given him credit that he's never ducked any smoke when it comes to having a conversation about anything. But the way in which the NYPD handles migrants with kid gloves, that's something that he's never addressed. Um, and when it comes to Brandon Johnson in Chicago, he, he runs. Uh, from any and every situation that occurs where he has to speak to the press or speak to the people, you know, so you're not going to get any type of statement of any sort that ever comes from Brandon Johnson. You can forget about that. You can forget about that. But this portion at the end says it all. It says it all. Let me turn the volume back up on this end portion. The man in English, right, who I'm assuming is an American citizen because he wouldn't have asked this, you know, migrant in, in English, right? What's going on? He's speaking in English because he's an American citizen. You know, he doesn't speak Spanish, right? He's saying, hey, man, what's going on? And Biden's migrant is telling him, man, get out of here. Go home. Go away. Chicago, this is our town now. This is our city now. We run this now. You see how we just back down Chicago PD? You can't do that here. Look at this. What happened? What happened?
just dismissed them, just dismissed them. And you hear all the ruckus and banging going on in the background uh, just for the sake of creating a disturbance and letting their presence be known that we run this now. Chicago PD, get out of here. It's amazing. And it's 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 I, I don't have any other words to put to it. I don't have any other words to put to it. I mean, to be quite honestly, um, we'll just end the video here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, you know, when you do videos, you know, you try to end it a lot smoother and such and such. But I mean, I don't I don't know what else there is to say. You know what I mean? Other than this must be what the citizen population of Chicago wants. Right. Because not to be facetious, because people say this stuff in the comment section all the time facetiously. But this is what you voted for. Right. And I don't say that facetiously. I say that from a standpoint of. If you want this to change, then you have to vote out the Chicago City Councilmen that permit this and won't challenge Brandon Johnson. And you for sure got to get Brandon Johnson out of here. Honestly, before his term is even up, you have to find a way to 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 remove him. You have to find a way to put in place some sort of recall election, you know, to get him out of here because this can't continue on in the city of Chicago unless you want this to continue on. Uh, the citizens of Chicago need to understand that the power is in your hand and you can do something about this if you so choose to do something about it. Uh, but you can also not do anything about it uh, as well if you don't care. So it's really up to you. But as far as I'm concerned, this is complete insanity. It's completely ridiculous. Um, and everybody in that video, everybody in that in that shelter needs to be deported and removed. Send them back to where they where they came from. Where all that talk about women and children and families, I don't see none of that. Every time you see videos like this of foolishness, you never see the women, you never see the children, you never see the families. It's a bunch of, you know, military aged men that are causing a ruckus in these cities where they already have their own troubles with the current citizen population. Every major city has its issues with the citizen population as it pertains to foolishness surrounding drugs and crime and whatnot. That goes without saying. But now you have unnecessary imported foolishness coming from other countries. That's unacceptable, in my opinion. But once again, that's up to the citizens of Chicago to do something about that. Uh, so with all that being said, that does it for today's news. I want to thank you all for joining me today. Uh, hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Share this video out on your social media platforms. And also don't forget to follow me on Telegram as you can see at the bottom, at TD Media Group. Follow me on Telegram at TD Media Group. Uh, the link to my Telegram is in the description box below and will be pinned in the comment section as well. Thank you for your time. And until the next video, peace and have a great afternoon.